This is the image of the Luxi wheel that helps the community of Luxi in the Isle of Man for almost 150 years. The Luxi wheel is one of the largest water wheel in the world. It was built in 1854 to pump water from mine shafts and named as Lady Isabella, after the wife of the Lieutenant Governor Hope, who was the governor at that time. After four years of construction and with much fanfare, the Luxi Wheel was opened in September of and christened as Lady Isabella after the wife of the current governor. The wheel became a major tourist attraction and continued to serve the mine until it closed in. It was preserved largely through the efforts of a local builder until purchased by the monks' government in 15 and is now maintained by the monks national heritage. Who wouldn't treasure such magnificent architecture that brings comfort to the miners of the early 19th century? The main purpose of the wheel was to accumulate the water from the mine shafts that hindered them from collecting minerals like lead, zinc, and metal. Its type is water wheel. Location is in Laxi, Isle of Man. Owner is the Manx National Heritage. Its diameter is 72 feet 6 inches or 22.10 meters. Its architect is Robert Casement. The Laxi Wheel soon became a tourist attraction that caters the people from different countries just to see the breathtaking view of the hillside. came from the brilliant mind of Robert Casement that was born in 1840. He married Agnes Casement that was born in her homeland at Thompson in 1840. At the time of Casement's death, becoming the builder of the famous Luxie Wheel were written in his inscriptions to thank him for his helpful invention. Casement created a series of channels, leads to convert the water from the hillside to the cistern. Did you know that the wheel has 158 buckets? In its heyday, the wheel pumped 250 gallons of water a minute from the turbine last night. That doesn't end there. The fact that the wheel has 168 buckets makes it the largest working water wheel in the world. The wheel was nicknamed Lady Isabella after the wife of a former Lieutenant Governor Charles Hope. It is the largest working water wheel in the world. We choose Luxie Wheel because in a conic section, Luxie Wheel is considered as a circuit. The fact that the wheel has 168 buckets makes it the largest working water wheel in the world. The wheel was nicknamed Lady Isabella after the wife of a former Lieutenant Governor Charles Hope. It is the largest working water wheel in the world. There wasn't any coal available on the island. However, they do have an abundance of here which is the running water. So, how this huge machine even work like any other water wheel? In this animation, you can see that the wheel is powered by rain water from the Luxie hillside. There are also a stored water from the hill 
so it can be still operate the wheel even if it's not cleaning. If we take a closer look, you can see that the flowing water then fell onto the top of the wheel into the buckets built into the rim, allowing the weight of the water to turn the wheel and then turns it into more useful straight line kinetic or mechanical energy. I know you might ask why the wheel is reverse any other like water wheel. Overshot wheels are more efficient. In addition, this keeps the wheel moving in the direction of the overall flow of the water along the street. According to the local lore, this also comforted the residents of the valley below fearful that if the wheel were too full of its bearings, any extra forward turning would send it hurling down on them. In this picture of the Laxi wheel, you can see at the left side that long rocker arm is called rod. It moves in a horizontal motion. The rod on the right side connects to a series of rods that transfers the horizontal motion up the hillside. Of course, the rods are massive timbers. It consists of multiple pieces of timber that also lie on rollers over their course to minimize friction. This shaft is in turn attached to a T-rocker which translates horizontal oscillating motion to a vertical motion. The engine shaft within the main shaft accommodated a series of 5 plunger pumps at 300 feet intervals, lifting water 1,482 feet, finally discharging it into the Laxi River. Unfortunately, the effluent carried a high concentration of lead and other toxic metals and badly polluted the Roxy River. The river has recovered nicely since the mines have closed. The rod on the left connects to a large vertical piston that serves as a governor to maintain the revolutions per minute. It also keeps the balance of the mechanism within the wheel. Although Lady Isabella no longer pumps water, she can still run continually and remains the largest operating water wheel in the world. Although the main reason why we choose this infrastructural is because water wheels can contribute a lot in town especially those certain country where running water is abundant. It also very helpful when it comes into environment because coal is one of the major problems that cause pollution. So running water is much more efficient to use instead of coal to produce a mechanical energy. The wheel became a major tourist attraction and continued to serve the mine until it closed in 1929. Although Lady Isabella no longer pumps water, she can still run continually and remains the largest operating water wheel in the world. <laughs>